what's up it is Jack and Tosh 7 and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the um, Gigabyte Z77 um, restarting problem for Hackintoshes. Um, I know a lot of people are getting this problem on their Hackintosh when they turn their computer off they go to the Apple logo and they go to shut down um, it, re it restarts their computer um, now this is for the Gigabyte Z77 boards. It should work with all of the Z77 boards. Um, as long as they're Hackintosh compatible, it should work for them. Um, I got this off a of Tony Mac X86. Um, there's a couple of other useful um, BIOS tweaks in there, but I'm just gonna be showing you this one because this is the only problem that um, that I really that I encountered. So um, I'll put the link in the description for the article so you guys can read it. And I'll show you guys that it works. Um, I go to Apple logo, shut down, shut down, and got my two monitors working. Um, I do plan on doing a Hackintosh series because um, I there's a couple good ones. There's only one really good one on YouTube, and that's by uh, CPU Kid. Um, so that's my other computer. Um, so I plan on doing a Hackintosh. Um, videos because there's not really a lot there's only one by one guy but those are really good so um, so my computer turned off there's my Hackintosh right here so I'm gonna turn it back on and boot into the BIOS to get into the Gigabyte BIOS you just press F um, delete F12 is the boot manager so delete to get into the BIOS all right once you're in the BIOS um, if you haven't been in here before you're probably going to be greeted with this um, but if you haven't, um, then you're probably going to be seeing something different. So first thing you're going to want to do if you see this screen is go to advanced. I have a whole, um, what do you call it, like a tour of the BIOS. I'm um, just showing you guys around. Um, so yeah, this is what's called the advanced um, mode to get back into what we were just in before. You just click 3D BIOS up there. And then we go to advanced right down there. Um, so we go to power management um, to fix this. And we go to wake on LAN, all right? You probably can see this, hopefully. Let me just move my cursor. Wake on LAN right here. Um, this is automatically enabled. You're going to want to disable it, all right? You're going to want to disable this. It's already enabled um, by default, so you're going to want to just go down and hit disable, and this will solve your problem, okay? Um, so you'll be able to restart fine after you disable wake on LAN. All right, it's wake on LAN. There's other stuff that you can fix in here, um, but um, I'm not having any problems with anything else. So yeah, um, you can look at the uh, the link in the description if you have any other problems, or you can ask me. Um, I'm pretty knowledgeable. Um, to say to get out of the BIOS, you just um, you just go to the next. Here's the key. Go to the next one and save and exit and save and exit setup right there, the top one. Um, but I didn't change anything, so I'm just gonna hit save without exit without saving and hit yes. Um, so if you changed wake on LAN, then you're going to want to um, save. Okay. I didn't change anything, so. Um, yeah, so that's really it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos.